What is going on guys you're back with another video today and we are doing our very first rebuild of the year and I figured I wanted to start it out with a bang. I wanted to try a fantasy draft. I wanted to try a rebuild and guess what we've done. Yeah, fantasy, fantasy rebuild. Yeah, you're right. I would say subscribe and leave a like on the video for a like goal, but honestly, we posted so much content today, but it would mean a ton to me if you did subscribe and like the video, especially if you like rebuilds. I'll definitely be doing a ton this year, but let's get back to the rebuild. So uh, if you guys want to know how to do a fantasy uh, draft, uh, all you have to do is go when you start a franchise, choose custom roster. You always have to use trust custom. You can't use real life, even though technically custom is the most recent up uh, roster anyways. Then you choose your starting point when you're after you're loading the, the, the roster. It'll say fantasy draft. Boom, you're done. So here we are. Uh, please subscribe if you're new and like the video. I appreciate it. That's all I care about. We now have pick number three. Now, I'm hoping they brought back the ability to see the development trade. Uh, they did. I don't know. Actually, no, you already seen the. What am I talking about? You can always see the, uh, the development trade. Now, this is tough, okay? You guys know I like to go with the younger players because I'm uh, a P uh, person that's very fond of younger players. Um, star. Not even superstar. Okay, so this is kind of hard because you guys know I don't like old players. However, this is a rebuild, so. That doesn't matter as much. Do we go with a superstar X factor? I feel like we do, right? Like, would, would we go with Odell? Wide receiver in previous Madden's not super easy to get. Um, this is tough because pass rusher is even harder to get. Khalil Mack, 28 is definitely not too old. Um, do we go with Khalil or Odell? You know, we're going to go with Khalil Mack with our pick number three. Of course, if you guys have... Um, if you guys have watched my channel for years now, you know I do a proper in-depth draft. Uh, and I show you exactly how to get the very best players you possibly can. Imagine Vaughn and Mac. Oh my god. I show you guys how to get the very best players you possibly can uh, in drafts. And, uh, you know, we'll have that as soon as I get a chance to get the full game. Uh, maybe I do upload it a little bit earlier. Who knows? I just want to be able to uh, experience the game without running out of hours. Obviously, there's the tricks and all that to, to get more hours and whatnot. Um, Kyler Murray has hidden, so that's super fun. Thank you, EA. I love that. He's just too fast. You know, Tyreek Hill, 25 years old, star development, good stuff, you know. Uh, Drew Brees just went. Uh, I'll be paying attention to this a little bit. You know, you can see like guys like Von Miller who are 30 years old are still there. Would Khalil Mack have been there still? I don't think so, but I can't guarantee. Did Levante get a bump? Damn it, I hate you. Levante did not get a bump. Uh, I will say in round three, there's looking like some decent talent. I think Deion Jones is just, he's just a classic guy that you just want to have on your franchise. So we're going to do it. Our guards still like just going to sit there forever. I can't tell. <laughs> that did zero for me. Since you guys like Von Miller are gone, of course, this is a lot further down in the list here. Chris Jones is still there. That's why, you know, I didn't really want to go with a guy like uh, Kenny Clark. We're going back to Mr. Old Faithful, Adrian Amos. Potential cornerback for us, of course. Like, when does Christian McCaffrey go? Like, why did Philip, uh, Philip, why did Tariq Cohen just go, but McCaffrey hasn't? You know, we're going McCaffrey. We, we want superstar X Factors. He's going to be a maxed player. I still don't understand why he's so undervalued in Madden. It, it makes zero sense to me. Ryan Chase here has normal development. Of course, he's not going to last a whole long, you know, a whole lot of a time at 26 with normal. You know, he's not going to really be a, a star player. But at the same time, do you really reach all the way down to a 72 overall? Ah, Chris Jones is still there. That's, that's too much value to pass up, I think. An 89 overall in round six, I think. Right? Like, it seems like such a reach, but DK Metcalf is pretty damn good. He's got hidden. They have him as a very high overall player. Development trait may be lacking, though. Other guy, yeah, we're going to have to go Dwayne Haskins. I, I hate reaching, and I have no idea when these guys go, but at the same time, I just, we can't miss out on great players. Like, Dwayne's got to have at least Superstar. I mean, we really don't have much more options. <laughs> like, I, Pharrell it is. So I have no idea when Alvin's alignment go, but we're going to go with Quentin Nelson. He seems uh, obviously very good. 87 overall is uh, quite good. And we have another pick right here. So most of those players that we were looking at should still probably be there. Looking at tight end now, though. 
We're seeing a bit of a lacking. Uh, the, the rookies are probably long gone. Oh, for the love of Jesus, did I miss him? No, he's there. No offense. We're desperate. Darnell Savage. Uh, I, I don't want to reach, but we have to. We have to. I'm sorry. We have the Packers safeties now, but obviously Amos could be moved. Oh, man, this is strugglesome. Like, you don't even know how much it hurts me to do what I'm doing. Time to go, Joe. I think we're going to allow him to play defensive tackle for us. Well, we're going to go back to the uh, the old youth well and go with Garrett Bradbury. Hidden development. I don't, once again, know if if these guys have superstar better automatically. I'm pretty sure that's what it meant, though. If I was paying attention enough, which I really wasn't, but I don't know, maybe. Uh, let's go back with another lineman, Will Hernandez. Of course, we're really lacking on these uh, these cornerbacks right now, but uh, that's all I can really say is but. <laughs> but there's a huge, I mean, at least last year, that wasn't that hard of a position. Oh, James uh, Daniels is there. I think we only need like one more. I know James is weaker, but he's super young. Yeah, he's weak in the strength department, but he's young. We just pretty much cleaned up the offensive line position. Hell, we may be even drafted one too many for all we know. Well, I guess we're going to go with Greedy Williams. Hope for the best. Well, we're going to go with Sean Murphy Bunty, and I'm literally just going with anyone with the hidden development traits now as uh, a lot of the good talent is gone now. Just saying. Do we go with a kicker? Like, I don't even care, man. I actually do want a kicker. I'm, go I'm, go I'm actually going to go with Justin Tucker. Superstar. I mean, if no one's got an x factor a kicker, that's the proof, you know. I'm pretty sure they didn't have X-Factor for kickers. For me, once again, just nobody cares about kickers, and it's just so rude. Preseason kickoff. I have to talk to this beat reporter. Don't want to beat this reporter, but I may have to. Just want to introduce myself. Hope your team, team stays healthy. Okay. So for the achievements we got so far, um, who's that dude? Is that Jimmy Garoppolo? That's Justin Tucker. <laughs> Uh, Coach Kitchens, before we get too far into the preseason, I want, just want to offer my two cents. I think we should get our rookies as much playing time as possible this preseason, especially if they haven't, uh, yes. Okay, you're a kicker, my, 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 my man. Could you not talk to me? Now, okay, hear me out. We may be a low overall, all right? We are, okay? However, there's a reason for this. We went with the youth. You see the youth. For one, we have to change positions. The offensive line position is not done, so that looks bad there. But look at all the hidden guys. All the blue guys are guys with hidden. You know, it's kind of like a mutt setup. They're trying to draw you in a mutt. Smart move. I'm already hooked. Not really. But, you know, these are the guys with, uh, you know, hidden developments and all that. We're going to change the scheme up. Don't you worry one bit. Linebacker is going to be an issue. That's going to be the main thing we look at as well. Uh, zone abilities, uh, okay. I mean, that's yes. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna mix things up, and if we have any players left over, we will make our trades. So in case it wasn't clear what our actual starting lineup looked like, this is what it's gonna be going into year one. Because we're on a trial basis and we only have ten hours, we're gonna max this thing out at three years. Hopefully, with the way we built this team, maybe, just maybe, that's all we'll need. Um, now I know that you're not guaranteed superstar or better with these. It worries me. So Eric McCoy, we may just let him fall apart, honestly, and, uh, just work on the guys we actually need to use. You know, Eric McCoy is okay, but Daniels and everyone else, I think they deserve to start more. So we're going to trade John Ross, Herndon, and Eric McCoy to the Patriots for their first and second this year and a second next year. So of course the trading is still very, very skewed. We will do realistic rebuilds, so once again, if you're uh, not a huge fan of this, I apologize. It's just a fantasy draft, so clearly it's not going to be very realistic anyways. Jawan Taylor, we may trade off as well, just because there's no real reason to have these backup guys, especially when they're uh, young. Uh, there's just no reason. You know, they're not going to be used in the future. A linebacker would be nice, but that's just, honestly, this is not going to happen. So apparently the Vikings got Goff and Gurley. Interesting, and they have a decent team. Lamar Jackson is pretty decent in Sim, but the Niners, the roster doesn't look great. Have no idea what our pick's going to be like, but we're going to trade off some stuff. Browns probably weren't the best team to choose since, uh, actually their draft picks are fine. There we go. So we get the Niners first round pick, and I guess we'll keep Terrell or whoever the hell we 
didn't get rid of. I don't know who it was. <laughs> but let's go on and see the re-signings, which I know have been uh, overhauled as well. See how much, you know, I don't even know how long we're going to be able to keep players anymore. We also do have the draft, of course. Rookies, who's going to be worth taking? Who do we even freaking need at this point? Coverage linebacker is without a doubt the biggest need, actually. There's no question about it. We're seeing two decently high line, uh, linebackers already. This guy's a little bit on the older side, but that's fine. Hitchcock, it looks like linebacker was the... Ooh, Dewan. Dewana joined the teammate. It's us. I'm really curious to see if they change the speeds. Because the 40 times are kind of off. It seems like there's a lot of really good players, though. Like, look at this. A finesse, A minus uh, pass block power, and then B plus power block, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. But that, that looks pretty damn good to me. Deep threat, that guy's going to be fast. Uh, do they fix run stoppers? That's another question. I don't know. I mean, they're all really slow and have terrible stats and are always bad development. So looking at negotiations, ready to re-sign. Who do we have? So we have Anthony Sherman. He's a fullback, so if we do want him, we'll wait till the end of the season. A lot of normal development trait guys. Geno Smith, David Fails. I mean, there's some guys here that I just do not have any interest in getting back. Just trying to make sure none of them are important players. Valentine, in fairness, is okay because he's kind of big. He's actually short. I thought he was like 6'2", no? Am I thinking of a different Valentine? Uh, ben Koyak. So, yeah, Anthony Sherman be the only guy I really care about. Uh, defensive coordinator, I want you to keep an eye on Farrell. Uh, it's it's Fer uh, Farrell. Is it Farrell or Farrell? I don't know. The defensive lineman, he was a big part of our win last week. I'm not totally sold on him yet, but if he has a review performance out against the Bills this week, it might turn out... Oh, is that actually a thing? So hold. Oh, is that actually a thing? Is that so? Are these traits based on how well they play? Sorry about the spoiler, the record, but hmm, interesting. So Dwayne Haskins has been revealed as a star development player. Once again, I have no idea if that's how he's is because he's played. Uh, the speed's decent on him, surprisingly. Uh, throw power, deep accuracy. He's got pretty damn good throwing stats, actually. Heads to the playoffs, so we may have reached a little bit with these rookies because. They aren't guaranteed superstar or better. They could be all the way to star. Hopefully, no worse. Uh, usually, this means we've made the playoffs. It also means we have a bye week, apparently, at 10 and 6. Am I really a huge fan of the way the screen looks? I don't know. We start off at 4 and 1, and here we are finishing at 10 and 6. That's not terrible. It's not terrible at all. We went on a little bit of a slide, too. Went down to 4 and 3. So, let's take a look at Dwayne Askins' company. 29 touchdowns, 13 picks. 4,300 yards. That's not bad. Christian McCaffrey looking pretty good. What about the developments? Did anyone go up? Like, Dwayne was a star. He's still a star. What about, I don't know, maybe Tyreek? I mean, he really didn't play that well. Tyreek did not go to superstar. Defensively, Khalil Mack, 22 and a half sacks. I'm actually curious to see if any of the players actually went up. Or, or not that. That's not what I'm looking for. If any of the guys actually, Superstar X Factor wise, did really well because of that. Like, I'm really wondering, uh, Sean Murphy, Bunting. So it seems like they're all at least star development, which is fine. Super fine, superstar development. So let's take a look at, you know, like other X Factors. Were all the X Factors good players on the year? Let's take a look. So you look at some of the best quarterbacks. All these guys, I believe, do have abilities. Cam Newton even has an ability, I believe. Uh, what's his? Freight Train, oh, Relentless, yeah, Freight Train. So Lamar Jackson, so he's superstar. I don't know if you got that recently. Damn, Lamar's kind of sick with that ability, which means the Niners were probably good. Love it. So it appears like I'm looking around, and I'm not seeing any guys like go up in development. I wonder how hard it is to actually upgrade your development this year. It seems very hard, actually. Hmm. Very interesting. Like, Edelman had an insane season. He would go up. But it clearly he didn't. So I wow, this is interesting. This is a uh, completely new game apparently. You know, you can't drop a development, so that's a fair counter. Is that it's very hard to upgrade in development. Mac, according to the rest of the league, did amazingly well. Aaron Donald, obviously, super well himself. Pick totals. Uh, Awuzie, was he at star before? Like no upgrade in development. Is there any guy here that was insane that probably shouldn't have been? Like, let's take a look at tackles. Like Jalen, that could be a development up. It's not. Like, holy crap. How do you even develop this year? Like, I don't see any development ups. To be fair, it might be, like, mid-season stuff. Because if you guys seen that Cleland Farrell, Farrell, whatever his name is, stop butchering me. Uh, you know, he they said, hey, 
let's keep an eye on this guy. I think he has a chance to be a beast, especially if he repeats. So it's like, if he does another really good game, you know, maybe we'll nudge him into the good direction. Uh, that's all I'm saying. So looking at the teams, we have two Superstar X Factors. They have one. Our third best player is a kicker, <laughs> apparently. So, of course, another new screen here is uh, the Superstar X Factors page. They have the little screens for the guys that uh, have abilities of any sort. It would appear that we have three guys. They have four. Marshawn Lattimore has a few abilities, diving swats and interceptions. Higher chance to catch tip passes. That's freaking amazing. Devontae Adams with double move elite and red zone threat. Landon Collins with an enforcer and unfakeable. We have a kicker ability. <laughs> you can see Big Ben has a lot of uh, abilities himself. Uh, I'm really curious to see. Uh, I really like this screen, by the way. That's one of the best things they did for sure. Uh, I really like to see how you do upgrade your developments. I'm, I'm curious. Maybe we'll only find out once we actually start playing the games. Of course, it's freaking snowing. Why does it have to be snowing? I don't know. And I don't know. Uh, I like that it shows like you can see the little scrape of paint. We can tell who has the ball. That's pretty cool. Cool little effect. I'm glad they have a new scoreboard. I, I think, you know, that's a very minor thing that, you know, probably doesn't take that long to implement. And that should always be a thing, at least somewhat regularly. And you can see here we do beat the Colts and move on to the divisional. Just like that. Rookie squad. I mean, kind of. Here's McCaffrey at a decent game. Devontae Freeman. Holy crap. With a lot of receiving. That's a lot of receiving yards. Let's take a look at sack totals. I'd really like to see Mac get pretty much a sack a game, especially in the postseason. Greg Joseph missed. Justin Tucker, guess what? He did not. We're an 80-plus overall, which is pretty good. I'd say the average is around 80 to 82, like last Madden for fantasy draft teams. You can see Noah Fan. What uh, development did he have? Star. So none of our guys had superstar. I think that has a lot to do with the fact that we didn't actually play. Pretty good upgrade again. But yeah, a lot of that has to do with just the fact that we simmed and, you know, not one, you know, that there was a, a goal for us to have a crazy game. You know, we couldn't play and, you know, have a breakout one with him. It was all on the AI and, you know, that just doesn't happen. So I, I would assume simming, you're not going to get very many upgrades and developments. But against the Raiders, ironically enough, uh, a very high team that uh, people want to rebuild and people want to see how they do. Obviously, this is a uh, fantasy draft. Completely different team. They have the best punter in the league. We have the best kicker in the league. Interesting little special teams battle. Now, if you guys didn't notice, I may have mentioned it in the, in the video. I can't remember. But we are. We do actually have 60 frames per second. I bought a new capture card. I was going to buy a 4K, which would have been sick. But unfortunately, I read up that they actually do kind of overheat because there's no uh, fan on the actual hard hardware. So I was not willing to do that. I didn't want it to like melt. Okay, we're having issues here. Uh, but... For rebuilds, I think we may just keep it to regular. Just so the, the rebuilds, you know, the file sizes aren't huge. It doesn't take super long to render. The Raiders here have smoked us. I know we kind of kept up with them a little bit, but the Raiders did smoke us. 45-24, to 24, unfortunately, Gruden moves on. Probably going to win a Super Bowl, right? I, I would assume. <laughs> let's, let's be honest, I would assume. Dwayne Haskins played poorly. Nick Foles! 6 TD Foles is back in action. In fairness, McCaffrey did have three rushing touchdowns. Uh, Eric Ebron went off. Jesus, Foles, could you not? Please. Rashawn Gary with a sack. No consistency at all from, like, any player on the team. I guess uh, ha ha Haskins has been pretty consistently bad, I guess. Let's take a look at the Pro Bowl roster. Do we have any single player? Oh, backup quarterback Dwayne Haskins. I mean, how is that not a development up? That's what I want to know. Um... Let's see what else we have. Keenan Allen, Shepard, Beasley, Godwin. Noah Fant is the number one tight end. I don't even remember how he played. Uh, we have the two left guards, apparently. Anyone else? No tackle. We have Khalil Mack. DTs. I thought maybe we would have had a chance at one. Anyone else? No? It appears the answer to that would be a kicker. I mean, that's not bad. That's actually a lot better than I thought we were going to have like the first year or two. Uh, we already know. So you could play the Pro Bowl. Eh. Not doing that. We're, we're not doing the Pro Bowl. Should we? I mean, I'm not going to play it. But do we want to see who wins? This is actually pretty cool. 
I don't know how it's going to work for online user franchises, but I'm not really interested in that. So we're we're just going to find out who wins the Super Bowl. So I got a uh, 75 gamer score achievement called Rookie of the Year. Win Rookie of the Year with one of your players. Which one? Who won it? Was it Dwayne? Yearly Awards. Uh, Offensive Rookie of the Year. Dwayne Askins, my man, giving me achievements. I love you, man. We got a lot of awards, actually. Like, we didn't win them all, but we, we were really high up there for the rookies. Khalil Mack did win as well. Kicker. It's only five kickers there. Okay, and I'll take it. But yeah, I got an achievement right out the gate. 75 gamer score. I like it. How much is our fullback start development? Three million for one year. Eh, I don't think so. I don't think we're I don't think we're doing that. The Raiders did end up winning the Super Bowl, which is fair enough. You know, they kind of whooped up on us, so it makes you feel okay. There's gonna be no one here because obviously every team has tons of money. Um, the best available is Heinz. We do need a uh, oh, that's so cool. It seems small for you guys, but for me, that is huge. Looking next to the overall, it has their development badge. That's actually so huge for me because I normally don't have to click in or I wouldn't even notice some players because I'm just like, okay, this guy's terrible. But obviously, anyone could be really good in a franchise for all we know. I think they did add that mainly for the fact that there's going to be more of those good development, good players in general in free agency because the contract situations are going to be very different as they made it rather realistic you can't just you know cheese anyone we do see aj brown here which makes literally no sense i can't believe he's only normal development here though and we don't even need him but i mean it's impossible to pass up hakeem butler is still here too and you know for whatever reason hakeem has normal but more importantly he has offers while our other friend does not which is really weird so I'm not really sure what we're aiming for here uh, in the draft. AJ Brown has accepted the deal. Uh, looking at the team, we have 43 out of 75 spots. Of course, we need at least 53. Well, kind of. We're an 82 overall after going from a 76 to start, which is good. We need a fullback, obviously. Uh, Metcalf is an 82. Tyreek, not to worry about. Whiteside, I don't know what development he is. Star. So it appears the hidden guys are guaranteed to be stars. Like, what's Bradbury? Bradbury is uh, is uh, you know star as well, so guaranteed guaranteed stars. Let's take a look at defensively. Was there any other guys like Darnell Savage? I don't know how he played star development. Guaranteed Murphy uh, seventy four. We know Farrell. Uh, what about uh, Gary? You know star development. So nothing really too shocking. No one player went up at all, which kind of sucks. The overalls, eh, not even great either. Uh, he went up six here, but really just looking for a linebacker. That's the biggest issue we have. DBs obviously can always be upgraded, but linebacker for coverage is definitely the biggest issue. I don't even know if Blake went up, like maybe two or three overalls. So we're going to be looking for, um, yeah, we're going to be looking for some linebackers, which we did see a few. Will we have to trade up though? Probably. I think Hitchcock was the guy, right? Hitchcock looks very good. So we do have the combine grades as well. 4-5-2 from that linebacker, which is ridiculous. The thing about that is I'm starting to think, because like most Maddens, the drafts, the following like the Madden of, uh, they usually end up having reflective drafts according to the most recent real-life one. So I think this is the Madden where we're going to see a lot of faster players at the front seven position because there was you know that was the position that really shined when it came to the 40 time this year so that's what i'm thinking at least uh let's take a look so like running backs usually the fastest you see is like a four four like what about wide receiver this guy's a, a top prospect uh the acceleration agility is kind of looking bad the speed is okay considering he is six foot four after all we have another six three guy guy with no acceler agility that was the big issue i've been worried about is the fact that there's not really any fast guys. I mean, just in real life, the last draft, there was so many fast guys. It was almost impossible not to land one. If you're going wide receiver, your guy was probably going to be pretty damn fast. Like you can see here, the 40 times great. Three cone and shuttle are horrible. There's really nothing you can do about that. There seems to be more deep threat tall guys, but the speed really doesn't reflect that deep threat uh, category. 
Let's take a look at tight end. Tight end, first glance, seems to be kind of an issue again. Uh, that guy's decent. Maybe not. Maybe there's just more steals, I suppose. So how hard is it going to be trade up? And most importantly, what kind of value do you get for trading down? The Titans could use a middle linebacker in real life, but in Madden, do they? That's the question. We have the Dolphins next. Oh, they kind of do, actually. So actually, if we go... So this so drafting, the trades are still broken. Sucks if you're one of the people that did want to change, which I kind of did. But I, I liked it to be there because... If you want to be realistic, you can be realistic on your own. But for these fantasies, if you want to have a little bit of fun and just kind of go off the rails, <clears throat> you know, that option was there too. We do have a middle linebacker. The question is, who do we want? Abraham's more freakly, but Hitchcock has the better potentials and he's younger. I think that pretty much answered itself. Hidden development. So that's going to happen a lot. And I'm not super... Oh, I forgot. That's going to be actually be really rough for rookies. He's a good player, though, so he will start. Like, obviously, if we know a guy sucks, we won't use him. But if there's a potential, we're going to have to use them now if there's any chance. Here's Dixon, who's decent. Wide receiver's not really an issue for us, though. What the hell? He's actually insane. But that guy looks ridiculous. I've never seen that. Obviously, we're, we're just starting, but... You know what I mean. So he's got 86 finesse move. He's decently fast. His block shitting's not great. But that guy out the gate could be better than Clellan. We gotta. We have to. We have to. He's hitting. He's a 74 overall. Um, a little underwhelming. Can't lie. I don't see how an A- minus is 83 overall. But if you say so. Like he had an A- minus power move, I believe. And he had 83 power move. I don't see how that makes any sense at all. Like, an A- in real life should not be 83, but okay. And as much as I really want that lineman, that right tackle, uh, we have a decent line, most importantly, and obviously with this hidden thing, the development might not even, you know, there might be zero chance for the development to, to reach higher than one of our linemen. DeAndre Jacobs, I think, is worth the pick. 67 overall hidden. Decently fast, jumping's okay, he's catching all that. So there is a lot more busts as well. Like that in Madden um, 19 would have at least, at minimum, been like a 75 or higher. We do also seem to have... Wow, that guy's ridiculous, actually. We do seem to have the same age-old issue of quarterbacks just continuously falling no matter what. Nathan Dick in Sun. If that's what you want to do, man, I'm, I mean, I might have to call the authorities. Is still there. There's no way I can pass him in the million years. 71 overall hidden, 88 speed, 91 acceleration. So this year, it appears that the ratings potentials are completely skewed. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting year. You know, the, the draft kind of follows the way they did rank. Ah, my damn guard is gone. The draft did follow the way they did the real life rookies. So, you know, at least there's consistency there. And I think we're going to just trade everything away if we can. This is going to be very interesting. Obviously, we don't really know how the classes are. So we don't, we can't really compare, oh, this one was really bad or this one's really good. We can't really get an idea of what the average draft is like. But I believe in real life, the highest rated rookie was an 80 overall. And in Madden, at minimum, you get over an 80. Last Madden, at least. So honestly, the 76 overall based on real life rosters seems pretty damn good. So let's take a look at the rest of the league. The highest overall player in the draft was a 78, which gives me uh, high hopes for what we have. Obviously, these guys are hidden. So the uh, you know looking at our you know players that we could have had isn't really going to be as effective this year. We may still look just see the general glance. Uh, you can see Salisbury; uh, he's just straight up normal, first round normal guy. So there was uh, definitely guys that were busts. You know, if they're hidden, you have a chance. If they're not hidden. Yikes! You know you're you're kind of screwed, basically. Uh, here's Dixon. Uh, he's actually pretty decent. Just no, development is terrible. And once again, this year it seems development's gonna be very hard to upgrade. So, if you have normal development, you may just be a complete straight out bust. That's what it seems like. At least that's what I'm gathering. So here's Abraham, who was unbelievably fast. 89 speed, 85 excel, 85 agility on our first draft. We see a guy that fast at middle linebacker in our first draft. Here's Beckett. Seems like uh, cornerback agility seems to be very, very low as usual. I mean, we're seeing the overalls are very, very low. So that's something to keep in mind this Madden is the overalls are going to be quite a bit lower than previous Maddens for the draft, it appears. Because, you know, our guys, a lot of great potentials. 
decent players that got hidden, and they still have low overalls. So that just seems to be the way it is. Believe it or not, a lot, not a lot of whole player, you know, not a lot of teams really want Dick and Son. They're making it out to be like some weird thing. I don't know. So let's just try to get their first round. They can have these two rookies. That's a fair trade for them for sure. They got immense amounts of value. So we had to trade to pick 41, our first round pick in Terrell Edmonds to get to the Dolphins pick two projection. Uh, I suppose we will trade away our second and third, maybe for a next year from the Dolphs. They are not interested in that. Interested. Blake is a decent player. Like, stop being rude. Stop being rude. There you go. Stop being rude. Hopefully Crisp works out. If not, I don't know. So it's week nine. There may be re-signings. There may not be. But there's definitely... Who is that guy? Vanilla Ice out here. So Mad Hack is a star dev hunter. There's the dev. Do I want to go with him, though, when we're going to be broke? Yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> I'm fine. I have your money. Glad you got the deal done. Uh, now now we're starting to look at some players I don't want to lose. Miko Hardman's fine to lose. Jamel is... Uh, I'll give him a three-year deal. We're, we're kind of low on cornerbacks. Get the hell out of here, Casper. Oh, okay. So we have learned a new thing. Kobe Crisp is a superstar development player. When do you find out these things? Like, does it show you? Week seven. It would have been like week nine-ish, right? It's not. So abilities. Oh, so you get two slots, but it has to be at a certain level. Okay. So with the way he is playing, move over Clellan, right? <laughs> like, that's kind of the way we had to go. I should have went with power move, man. Actually, I don't know how they've been upgrading him because he he's obviously upgraded a little bit. Oh, they have been going finesse move, so in fairness. So we'll take a look at how Kobe Chris played. I'm hoping he played poorly, which would then uh, get 16 or 10 and 16. 10 and 6. 10 and 6. Jesus. Too many videos today. Um, it would definitely show that, you know, that was his development and that's just what he had. Uh, no development up for Dwayne. That's not really. I mean, it's a good season for Madden stats, it seems, this year. But is it really that great? Obviously, developments can't drop. So if someone doesn't have an amazing season... We don't really have to take a look at what it was like. Uh, of course, we can see here, Mac killed it again. We just couldn't bench Mac for any reason. Kobe Chris with three sacks, 67 tackles, which is not bad for a guy that didn't really technically start. But I don't think that would have been enough to, you know, earn superstar development. Tucker with an insane season. Uh, so, I think he just had superstar development, and that's just the way it is. However, did he win any awards? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. But let's take a look. See if there was any awards won. Offensive Rookie of the Year. I don't even remember if we had one. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Chris was close. Hitchcock. What development was he? Was he star? He was probably star because he blended in. It, usually if they blend in, it's because, you know, they have the same development as a lot of others. Uh, defensively. So, yeah, star development. Still a good player. Uh, it's just Crisp is superstar. Don't know what the difference between those two are this year. Like, how big of a difference that plays. But, obviously, you want the abilities, and that's the main goal. Jets are a 75 overall. There should be a walk in the park, surely. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no difference between Superstar and X-Factor. Superstar and X-Factor. It's just you get that extra ability, which can be rather overpowered. So, you know, Superstar players are amazing. Those are the guys you want. It doesn't really matter. Why do you think? That's why I was talking about how I really wanted Levante David to have Superstar, especially since he is, like, 29 years old. Uh, but now knowing that it's really hard to upgrade your guys, at least in a sim standpoint, now I really wish that they would have given the superstar, which is super unfair that they didn't. So seven to zero over the Jets right now. Seven to three. Not really looking super great. There we go. Fourteen to three. Fourteen to ten. We did not get a bye week this season, which is unfortunate. Twenty-one to ten. We'll just have to earn our way to the championship round or the division round, I guess. And here we are doing just that. Ooh, they're kind of coming back with a vengeance, but we do enough to hold on. And here we go. So let's take a look at the stats. Dwayne Haskins can throw touchdowns in the postseason. I didn't know that was possible. Yardage was low. It's kind of cool to see that it's not going to be guaranteed like 250 yards minimum every time. You know, that's a game sometimes in the postseason you have. Sometimes you game manage the hell out of a game. What can I say? So what team is our, I was about to say, what team is our overall? 85 overall, that's not bad. You know, that's not bad. I'd say about now we'd be around an 87 last Madden. Going against the AFC North champions, who are only a 76 overall. I mean, we're seeing a 75 overall team and 76 overall team in the postseason. 
you know, that's just the way it is. Rodgers, not really great in the postseason in Madden. I mean, in real life, he's actually had a little bit of troubles as well. So hopefully we're seeing some struggles. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Starting the game out, they get a long rushing touchdown with their running back. Of course, that's usually how it works. We finally get a field goal, but they drive back for 17 total points now. 17 to 3, 17 to 10. They're going to get another touchdown, and this game looks like it very well could be over just like that. Defense clutches up, though. That is huge. Huge opportunity. And on fourth and three, they tried to run the ball. This coaching staff should be fired. I guess it's time to go to the final season. And Rodgers and, you know, eh, whatever. Darnell Anderson apparently just 2.4 yards per carry from Christian McCaffrey. Wow, Sim is so much better than last year, clearly. Yay. The Buccaneers and the Bears. The Buccaneers, the Bengals and the Bears facing off. And of course, we lost our season to the champions of the world again. I'm so happy to see that. I don't know who Richard Norwell is, but you're not staying on the team. That's all I'm telling you. See if there's any big names in free agency. I highly doubt there would be. 92 mil contract extensions may be coming up soon. Duke Johnson. Ryan Switzer. Okay, so that must have been like a, uh, a development up based on playing well. That's what it seems like. That's a very good player right now. The traits are crazy. I'm kind of in the impre under the impression that he gained those traits through good playing. So maybe you actually gained traits this year. Which would be kind of cool. Or did you already? I can't even remember. Uh, we don't need him, so I don't know why the hell. I just slowly snuck my way onto the board there trying to get him. Uh, uh, Edmonds. 79 overall as a normal development. Went from 74 to 79 just like that. You know, We didn't really give him a good fair shake, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Like, Look at this. Arthur Long, a talent that is projected in the first round. Is that literally telling us now that there are proper gems? Like an early first round talent that late in the draft. That's got to be what that is telling us. Or is it because of the potential in the combine grade? That's what it's projecting them out of nowhere. I can't tell, but I have some high hopes there for that that situation. I just wonder if it happens at other positions. Because obviously that's kind of a common sighting is to see good offensive linemen late. Like here we go with this mid-second projected player. We're going to start taking some of these guys and see if any of it actually translates like this guy mid first that's a steal so it appears that's like proper gems may be kind of back in the game which i kind of like i like to see that we'll offer this and if we can't do it we can't do it because obviously i don't really have much work more to work with so we're just going to trade down i think which is why once again we should have freaking let it happen should have kept the guys you had on our board i do remember some of them off the top Colby is obviously gone. Any of the corners still there? No. Is the free safety still there? Is Shamir? No. I don't want any of that. So we're going to trade down for next year until we get down to where we need to go. The thing I worry about is these guys are steals, so they could end up going. But we're going to go with Vernon right now because he looks insanely good. He's got a hidden development. He has a 74 overall. He seems to be a bit of a safety style player to me. Uh, but most importantly, a 74 overall in this year's Madden is actually a pretty damn good rating. So that is probably what I would assume to be a gem, a fair found gem. Let's go to the end of this round and then trade up because obviously we're not going to get that lineman if we wait. Let's first if things first see if the guy's even there at this point because I would reach. If I saw that in the draft, I'd reach hard. All right, Chiefs, let's give this another go. And then the only position we're really going to want to look at is going to be that middle linebacker, see if he's any speed. Give him a decent bit for that pick, and obviously we're going to make it count, hopefully, anyways. Even if his development sucks, as long as he's a good player. Uh, he's <laughs> ironically, normal development. He is a very good player, though, so that I would consider to be a gem in the way the drafts are structured. Hopefully we don't lose the guy. The next guy we had was an early sixth, I believe. You know, he's a safety. So hopefully he's still there. Safety was the biggest position we needed. 6.8 is high. Early six. He didn't. He really doesn't have an actual, um, you know, steal grade on him. But he still looks good, and he was terrible. So basically, we got one starting caliber guy at the safety. The other, the lineman is okay, but obviously not for us. Question is, are we even going to start that corner or put him at safety? I don't know. 
So let's take a look at that recap. Obviously, our players weren't bad for third round and later. Middle linebacker did go number one overall. Speed is a little low, but the rest is great. He's 78 overall. is basically one of the best players in the entire draft. You can see here Hughes. You know, once again, as long as the development isn't normal, we can't really tell if they're a bust or not. Like this guy, I don't know. I just don't know. Bradley definitely looked great, and he definitely proved that he was. Traits are insane. Off the chain. Rhyme gang. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm done. Uh, here we go with uh, a cornerback normal. That's a bust. Uh, another bust. Usually when they're in the 60s, they're probably a bust. Here's Colby Hunt, the lineman we wanted. Once again, a really good player, but the development's not there. So really just seems like it's only hidden or bust this year, which I'm not really a huge fan of, to be honest. I'm I'm actually not really a huge fan of this hidden business anymore. I thought I was going to be okay with it. There's a lot of normal development guys here. You know, basically, if you get hidden, you're like, whew, okay. Now the next journey begins, you know. But without that hidden, you're kind of screwed. So let's uh, let's take a look at the best awareness or overall. So you can see the two guys are there, 76, 75. You know, there's not really high overall players anymore in the drafts unless we've just gotten really lucky. But it appears that way, and that's kind of the way the real life rookies were done. So I'm kind of leaning towards that's probably the way they intended it. So Greedy Williams really hasn't worked out super well. I know Vernon's probably not worth starting, but if he has superstar or better. He's going to be better than Greedy Williams by the end of the season, probably. The safeties have struggled a little bit. I can't lie. They haven't really upgraded the way I've wanted them to. Gershon Gary struggling as well. So, I mean, this is a decent team. You know, we're still learning the rebuild process this year, what sliders to have on and all that. Dwayne Haskins has played okay, and he's, in, you know, a little bit better than okay overall. So, I think we're, uh, we're, we're structuring this thing the way we should. We'll obviously tweak it throughout the year. We have a couple of draft picks to work with for the next year, assuming we do come back to this. But obviously, with my limited EA Access trial, we're only going to do three seasons just so we uh, don't overdo it and run out of hours. Uh, two and five. Yikes. That's... That's not looking very good. It's looking like a very best at best situation is a 10 and 6. And that's going to be a journey and a half. Uh, so we do actually start have to re-sign some players. You can see here, the mid-tier guys are actually asking for quite a bit of money. You know, Greedy Williams as a, uh, a number 3 now. He's asking for a 5-year deal worth $37 million. Of course, this isn't a realistic style, so we will just knock him out for a 7-year. It's going to save us the most money in the long run. Uh, will Hernandez, 83 overall. That's... Actually pretty high overall for a tackle, uh, specifically a right tackle, so that's not crazy money. James Daniels, however, this is a lot of money for an 83 overall. Now, these are very expensive contracts, so they definitely did overhaul them. Uh, Justin Tucker is the best kicker in the league, and he wants to be paid like it. Most kickers, you would pay, what, maybe three mil at max last Madden? So they definitely didn't lie about uh, what they said they did, so... The safeties, though, still a very big concern contract-wise. That's going to be the position that you're going to want to keep as cheap as possible. That's going to be the position that's going to allow you to keep some of your better playmakers. At least that's the way it seems. Uh, and then we do have our Sega white side. He's decent. Wide receiver's not that hard to find. I think we'll let him go and find someone in free agency or even just get him back. So another thing I want to pay attention to now is the uh, developments. I want to see if anyone goes up, just like coming from their last couple seasons. Curious for that. Uh, we do go 10-6, and six, apparently. Uh, what's the, once again, the Bengals again on top. 90 overall. We'll take a look after the stats, I suppose. Stats are first. Uh, 4,200 yards, however, only 2,200, or 22 touchdowns, 12 picks. That's really weird. Touchdowns didn't really even go to the running backs either, or the uh, other positions. Dwayne Haskins, obviously, is not enough to get him a development up. Uh, receiving, any crazy numbers? No, not really. I just want to see someone go up right before my eyes, you know? Like, Joe had a decent season. Maybe he would go up? No. Defensively, any crazy? Max just absolutely unbelievable. He's totally worth the pick. Rashawn Gary, seven sacks as a DT. That's not bad. Chris Jones, no, no crazy numbers. Crisp, highly doubt he would have went to Superstar X Factor, and he didn't. He's still a very good overall, though. Uh, Deion Jones, maybe a superstar? Not a chance, huh? We're just not seeing upgrades, I suppose. That's just the way it is. All right. Justin Tucker is missing one kick. He missed two kicks out of the last two years. 
out of what 41 total kicks or 40 kicks 40 kicks two misses that's pretty damn good i mean i don't think kickers are going to be able to go up in development if he didn't go up you know let's go with a running back and quarter but why we use exactly all of it uh, d line we could have upgraded that's probably something i should have taken care of beforehand this could be the very final game we watch. I mean, a 76 overall Jaguars team versus a 90 overall Cleveland Browns team. This is really showing that randomized or sim is really randomized if we don't win this game or even come close because the Jets, what was it, the Jets? I think it was the Jets. I mean, the Jets gave us some troubles. The Bengals wrecked us. I mean, this those are teams that aren't really even that good of an overall. I'm not sure how they aren't either. I know we started as a 76 as well, but... Suppose we didn't go with any old players, so maybe the XP sliders this year need to be near 300%. I know that's kind of what I'm gathering here. Obviously, user leagues are going to vary as well. This is going to be a messy year for uh, upgrading, it seems. You know, three years in, and your I mean, I'm not saying your team should be a 99 by three years in, but you have some of the top draft picks in the league. Usually, you end up with a very high overall after the first three years, but. 90 overall is pretty good in fairness. I, I think I like it. Honestly, I think it's structured pretty well. It seems to be perfect. Dwayne Haskins, you know, 300 yards, three touchdowns, zero picks. Receiving, um, yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just the way it is. Sack totals, eh. I mean, there's nothing really crazy about this, the game. Dwayne did play really well, though. If any, you know, if anything was to be mentioned, it was that Dwayne played very well. All right, we might even be a, an even higher overall. We had a couple more upgrades to work with. Uh, the oh my god, the Bengals again! Could you not? Ninety overall. Uh, our offense seems to take a dip, but their defense obviously took a huge increase. Let's take a look at the actual overalls. Actually, no, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait till this rebuild is over. I have to put air quotes because can't really even tell if it's a rebuild at this point. Maybe it will be a sixty FPS. I don't know. Let me know if it really matters. I'll probably make this one sixty FPS, but the re the rendering time is really rough because you know it's double the frames. <laughs> And uh, obviously, there's not really much gameplay that's going to really matter for that. So, I mean, we'll try for the first, but overall, we're not going to probably go 60. But any gameplay, you know, any video with more than like a minute or two of gameplay, of actual in-game gameplay, will definitely have 60 frames per second. The difference is huge. And I'm hoping that, you know, you guys uh, appreciate that this year, because I know I will Except for my rendering speed. That's the only thing I want to appreciate. Quality should be a little bit better, though. Are the Bengals really about to end our season again? Oh, my God. Are you for real? We just lost, like, two straight seasons because of the Bengals, man. I hate them. I will say, though, Dwayne is kind of, you know, starting to hold his own a little bit here. You know, percentages are pretty good. Roger seems to be a god in Sim. You know, he used to be really bad in Sim. But now he's really good. Ryan Grant, he's terrible. Oh, my Lord. Keekly, at least, uh, or Mac, anyways, playing his part. I'm really curious to see. I'm going to see if I can find any uh, rookies that are superstar X Factor from this last draft class. We'll wait till the season's over, though. Obviously, it's technically about to be over. Let's go to the Super Bowl. See who wins, I think. Probably the Bengals, right? They're just, like, absolutely glitching out. The Giants again, too. I mean, I know it's a fantasy draft, but... Giants do win. So let's take a look across the league and see who of the rookie class may have superstar development. So Mac is 31 now. Let's take a look at what his regressions look like. What regressions? He doesn't seem to have regressed. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But let's take a look maybe if there's any other players. Like is, is Tom Brady still playing? So Tom Brady. Whoa. Did they ruin quarterbacks? Like, you're trying to tell me all these quarterbacks are going to start retiring around, like, 38? That seems a little harsh, I think. That's a little harsh. I'm just saying. So, you see if we can find a real-life rookie, though. And by some real-life rookie, I mean in-game. So, Devin Bush now has Superstar X-Factor. I don't know if he had it before or not. What the hell? Lamar Jackson got freight trained as his X-Factor. So, it must just be, you know, the fast kind of guys get that. Like, I would say Kyler Murray would probably get freight train if he wanted Wow. Ryan Shazier went from normal development to superstar X Factor. Are you for real? Wow, okay. Well, I don't see any rookies, though. Devin White 
uh, seems to be a little bit of a bust. We have some of the highest rookies in the, um, not bust, but you know what I mean. Some of the highest rookies in the entire classes. I don't think there's going to be any other ones. I don't think there's going to be any rookies. So that's that. That's the first rebuild of the season. It sucks we built a pretty good squad, 90 overall and all that. Uh, first rebuild of the season, and obviously there's going to be so many more. So if you're into rebuilds, please subscribe, like the video if you liked it. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jerome PK. I've been posting some pretty funny things, I must say. I, I'll toot my own horn. I'm just saying. Uh, but that's going to be enough content for me today. We're probably not going to have nearly this many videos. We technically had five today if you count the down 19 video. Not going to have nearly this many videos come, you know, tomorrow in the next couple of days. I would say at most we post like two videos a day and until maybe like the 30th and then August 2nd because those are kind of milestone days where people are going to properly get the game. So, uh, you know, tomorrow will probably be one or two videos and don't expect to be bombarded every day. That's all I'm saying. Even though some of you guys may actually enjoy it. I don't know. If you have any suggestions for video ideas, rebuild teams, you know, anything at all, let me know in the comment section below. And tomorrow, I would say look forward to another QB1 and maybe the start of the 49ers franchise. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Maybe I delve into Ultimate Team. I don't know. We'll find out. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. Hopefully, you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see